afternoon everybody this is Margie from Ladybug Lane Ladybug Lane soaps and I hope everybody is having a wonderful day I am in a good mood today the Sun is out in the great state of Washington in the Pacific Northwest and the the daffodils are blooming and and it's just a lovely lovely day so to start things out, I'll put this on in just a minute, but I, I, I'm going to start off with just, I'm going to do something fun here. Before I got into soaping, I wrote a couple of romance books, and this is one of them, and hopefully hopefully it's, it's showing up. It's titled Goodnight Eleanor, and it is a historical romance that is set in Seattle, Washington in 1909. And what I would like to do is just to have a little bit of fun. Uh, and this is open to all subscribers. I believe it was on Wednesday I hit a thousand subscribers so I just appreciate everybody who is watching my videos. Let's start it from today th through through March 30th and what I would like is just to have everybody just take a wild guess what the month day and the year it was that I started soaping and uh, and whoever is the you know either right on or the closest they will receive a signed copy of of this book. How does that sound? Kind of fun? Um, and unfortunately um, I think I probably just need to keep it uh, in the in the States here because the shipping is just um, awful. But now if you do live in the United Kingdom um, uh, this book and my other one is on Amazon and and I believe it's also um, available on Kindle in the in the UK and and in the states here. Um, this is either in, like I say, the paperback, obviously, or on Kindle. So if you are the winner, uh, you could either choose it in the paperback form or or on Kindle. And it's a it's a pretty good sized book. It's over three three hundred and forty five pages. So this was the first book that I ever wrote, and it's uh, several many or many many readers have told me that that they just feel like they are truly in Seattle. I mean, in in body and in spirit, uh, because this is this the, just the feeling of this book is so real. So anyway, I will set that aside. So let's get soaping. Okay, so I am going to do a, a basket weave, I think, on the top of this. Um, hopefully, I've never done it before, so we shall, we shall see. I, I'm going to try to use some, some colors here. I'm not quite sure about, about these oranges. It's the... Uh, electric orange mica from Nurture Soap and this what was it the nuclear orange that that might be too bright from from Brambleberry uh, this fizzy lemonade from Brambleberry I think I'll give that a go and it's been a while since I've used this lime appeal um, I would really like to and I think I will order some neon colors from Nurture Soap because I really, really, really want to. Here is the Juicy Apricot from Nurture Soap. No discoloration, no acceleration, Vanillin Zero. So we're going to use that and I had a, just a little bit of some coconut sorbet and grapefruit essential oil from Bramble berry, so I just empty that, and I've, I'm really trying to use up my my current stash. 
of fragrance oils and everything. So, all right, so I already have the, the kale and clay in here. That's why it's looking kind of cloudy. I need to get on my stool for just a moment. Okay, let's, let's just do a quick, quick temp here. We're about 81. And good old Mr. Lai here. I guess we're about 85. All right, let's let's get this party going here. Oh, cords are the scourge of my existence. Well, I suppose I should have put the fragrance oil. In, but yeah, I forgot it says it doesn't accelerate. It's been a long time. Well, I shouldn't say it's been a long time, several months since I used it. 